but I'm here with Love Zombies. Um, you've been very busy recently with gigs, haven't you? You played Camden Rocks, you played with Rock Goddess, The Primitives, and Ash, I think, all in the last few weeks. Yeah. 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 And all this before you've actually released anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I say, man? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah how did that happen? <laughs> yeah, no, I've, um, I've, uh, we just sort of show up to gigs and pretend that we're the support band. <laughs> and actually, yeah, we, yeah, just, we weren't we're actually play, the support yeah, we, band. Yeah, we didn't even know how to play <laughs> instruments. We just like, yeah, yeah. Well, that showed sometimes, but no, <laughs> hopefully not all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to get the cash up front before they realise you're the other band. Yeah, yeah. Really hey, does this wristband get us anything? <laughs> no. I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've got an EP coming out. When, when's it due out? It's due out in August. Um, there's some copies floating around now. I think you might have one. Yeah. But it's uh, officially released in August. We have a video out, to be honest. And then. Um, Two other tracks on it, Teleportation and International Bug, produced by Ginger Wild Hearts. Right. Be Honest was written and produced by Jason Perry. And it was one of the songs is on the Middle Hammer compilation magazine that came out about downloads just a couple of weeks ago. Yep. And of course, yeah, yeah, you're working with Ginger in his other bands as well. Yeah, yeah so. we're playing tonight actually. Um, we're headlining the fourth stage tonight. And so I'm preserving my voice a little bit right now. So I'm, not I'm usually an interview hog, but I'll let the other guys speak up. So obviously you've had to learn you know, their songs as well as your own songs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, no, I've been practicing for a long time. A couple months with them. So. I mean, on my own. We've got good memory though. What's and my you, name? And you played in London Thursday night, was it? Thursday night you played? Yeah, yeah. Thursday. Thursday we did um, it was Say Hello. Oh, and our Hello. first Say Hello gig, yeah, yeah. yeah, in Camden. That was really good. You know, breaking it in, the first one was like, everyone seemed to like it. They said it's really good, but I knew I could do it better. So I'm excited for tonight because the yeah. first one's yeah. the like, test in the waters. First one, the small venue, second one. Biggest festival in the country. She's such, she's such a shy retiring type on stage yeah, as yeah. well, aren't you? Yeah. A what? A shy You're the shy retiring yes. type on stage. I'm quite reserved. Yeah. They tell me I need to move around a little more. Yeah. Who goes there? Yeah. And as well as the EP, I presume you're working on an album as well. Well, we've written all the songs for it. I didn't want. I didn't want to copy. Yeah. Now we're. Yeah. We're, um. We're not sure yet when it will be, but hopefully it'll be soon. Yeah. Soon to follow after the EP. We have a lot of the songs written, so it's just about getting the right producer to record it. Uh, and of course, you know, with you know, with touring, you know, with both bands, you've obviously got to find the time to actually go to a recording studio. <laughs> yeah, well, I like to keep busy, so I've had a lot of free time in London where I was like, I'm not busy enough, like, so get what you, we get what you wish for in a good way, because now I'm going to be busy, so, so we'll make everything work, you know what I mean? Our, luckily our agent, our manager is also the agent and manager of Hey Hello. So he'll make coordinate everything yeah, that, accordingly. That must make it a lot yeah. easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I know, yeah, I've spoken to some musicians, they're in three bands, and uh, said you're trying to fit tours in with the three, it's just like, oh, well, when's he available? Yeah, yeah. No, that's always, yeah, that's totally like, yeah. Sometimes the hard thing, we always, like, get people, no, you can't be in another band, and now I'm, like, in two bands, but... <laughs> But obviously well, you're American, the guys are English. How did you come to, to meet to join up with them? She went to a gig in Hyde Park 18 months ago. She was a bit bored and she ran into a friend of mine. I was down in Brixton playing the little punk band. He said, come down to Brixton. She came down to Brixton, went to a party. She was over here working with various producers like Ian Brody and Toby Jepson and loads of cool people, but I think she wanted a band really. And, uh, and then I met this weirdo, and then we read one song together, and we never we hit it up. And he was better, not better, but it, it clicked more than anything else I was doing out here, and then I decided to stay, and then it was like, 
like the birth of Love Zombies and we went through a lot of different musicians, blah, 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 blah. we eventually found who we have now and the lineup is finally like, yeah. Yeah, so very, very random. It must be quite hard picking musicians because obviously you've got to get on with them you know, personally as well as musically. Yeah. And then professionally too. So yeah. like, we have the same goals and like you said, timelines if they're not in 10 other bands. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, being in a tour bus with someone, you just... Oh, you have to get along with it. It's different. It's, it's, it's difficult to find them. It's so difficult. You can't be a dick, basically. Yeah. You're a fucking dick. But you also can't be bad at your instrument. So you have to be like... You have to know how to play. You have to have attitude, but not attitude. Yeah, you, yeah, you have to have like attitude. balance. The key is balance. And I suppose on you know, stage presence as well, because obviously if four of you are sort of putting a lot of energy on the stage and the other guy's just standing there, it just looks out of place. You yeah. must have seen him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's true. It's a high energy show. I've seen you. Have you been to any of the other gigs? Yeah. Uh, what goddess I saw you at. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Yes. You look very familiar. I was like, what are you doing? You've got to be committed. You've got to, you know, it's... You have to have Iggy Pop like intensity. Yeah, it's like a lifelong, it's a lifelong, I don't know, a blessing and a curse, you know, we can't really get away from it, but it's hard to stop, but sometimes it's hard to keep going. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose knowing how to be party just to a certain extent, but not to the stage where it affects playing, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Again, that's balance, you know, yeah. like balance between professional or, you know, and I hate you know, the word professional, but there is, it really is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's balance. Everything's a balance. If you want to be a garage band and not go to the next level, that's fine. It's okay too. It, it's just take balance. So. Um, one one example of professionalism is I've noticed if you, if a band turns up and there's you know, a full venue, they put on a great show. If there's ten people there, they still put on a great show. That's it. The professional bands put on the great show. The others just uh, I can't be bothered. Yeah, right, right, and right. they're not going to get anywhere. Well, that, that's it. We did Rose Rock just recently. We, we, we opened up the stage there. It was the main stage, but there was, you know, there's not many people there. But we, I think, we did one of our best live performances, and I think the footage we've got back shows it. And you know, a couple of people didn't like it, a lot of people did. But it's one of those things. If you put in a great performance, the people who saw it will tell their friends, "Oh, you, you, know, you missed a great band," yeah, and the name spreads, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And everybody deserves a good show, even if like you know they paid for a ticket and they want to see you, even if there's only ten people there, like they deserve a good show, you know. Yeah. So you have to leave all the other stuff behind and just do it. And, then call. Yeah. and we're happy when we can make other people happy, you know. When we can yeah. put on a smile on their face. You know? Life sucks right now. Everything's expensive. It's People so pay money and for a ticket, you know? and they come and watch you. You are obligated to fucking Give make them, them feel show. something. I always said, like, I was an entertainer, and to put the entertainment back in entertainment business. We are in the entertainment business. Music is beautiful. I love music, but it's like. Sometimes it, it is entertainment. Like people want to show sometimes. You want to listen to the CD. Yeah. Go home and put it in there and listen to it. Perfect. Sometimes my no names, but will say, "Oh, you should stand more still. You don't want to run around too much." Like, but I know I can sing. So if you want to hear me sing perfectly, go home, put the CD on, and listen to it. If you want to see me jump off a trampoline and do a backflip and still hit the note, kind of got it. You come to the show. You know. But we're not only it's not only entertainment. It's also about you know. We, we have a message, yeah. you know, like Love Zombies is all about love, it's about positive energy, and it's about kicking know, ass as well. Kicking ass connecting as well, people. connecting people, and everyone could be a love zombie, you know? And we're all zombies in a way nowadays, you know? Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> that is our message. We're, our whole message is kind of like what Love Zombies means is that zombies are, um, I think the whole world is being taken over by technology, and we're all phones. Were you at the show today? Did you see it? I missed it. I was delayed coming in. Mr. Blinder. But, um, yeah, but I just said, you know, just for a minute, just put your fucking phones away. Live in the moment. You know, it's like we're so disconnected. We're becoming, like, zombies of technology of, like, oh, my God, everyone's here, here, but 
we're all sitting here, but we're on the phone. So Love Zombies is kind of the opposite of that, and it's like, let's bring people back together, go on stage, don't give a fuck, touch yeah. each other, give each other a hug, give each other a fucking kiss. Yeah. A hug, Slap you know. in the face. Well, let's face it, at a, at a festival, they were one of the first bands on, most of the crowd probably looked like zombies because they're yeah. barely conscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So they need something like you guys yeah, to wake you up. Yeah. You know, like a cup of, a strong cup of coffee, I think, for the people yeah. out here today. <laughs> A much needed. Right. Did you get a good good pair this morning? Fuck yeah, it was unbelievable. We couldn't believe it. The yeah. tent was packed. We couldn't believe it. And and they looked like they'd all had a rough night's sleep, if any. Yeah. And we had a rough and we had a, rough we had a sleep, fucking rough night's sleep. <laughs> we didn't actually get any, but uh, but yeah, they they it was so cool. They just you know they. Yeah. yeah, it's good response, it's good, good response. connection. It's good when you're on the early and people are making the effort to yeah. get, out, yeah. get up. That's a, that's a really and, good and, sign. And it makes you like, right, we've got to let's yeah. go out here and kick ass. Which I think we did. Right. Great, that's great. Thanks guys for your time. You're welcome.